You are one of my favorite players, but you don't have what it takes to get to the next level. I said it on purpose. I wanted you to hear it. What do you have to say about that? All right. That's it. <laughs> that frankly awkward exchange is one of many times that the four-time NBA champion and current TNT trash talker Shaq has disrespected Donovan Mitchell and the Jazz. This video shows you what no one is realizing about Utah's franchise player, and stay tuned to find out the reason Donovan's able to take over games at will. D. Mitch has been the leading scorer for the number one seed in the stacked Western Conference, yet he was snubbed as a starter for this year's All-Star Game and isn't in the top five on NBA.com's official race for MVP. But the biggest bit of disrespect shown to Mitchell has come from the TNT crew, specifically the Diesel. As you saw in the intro, O'Neal told Mitchell on live TV, you don't have what it takes to get to the next level. But he then justified that critique by suggesting that he wanted Mitchell to hear it as a form of motivation. And rather than showing some type of regret for his statement, O'Neal doubled down on his criticism posting an Instagram slideshow right after that weird interview with Mitchell that showcased former teammates Kobe, D. Wade, Steve Nash, Gary Payton, Penny Hardaway, and LeBron with a caption that read, this is what greatness at the guard position looks like. I played with the best to ever do it. You know what the best look like, hashtag don't have to hate. Then on January 28th, in a conversation with Yahoo Sports, Shaq elaborated on his awkward altercation with the 24-year-old Mitchell saying, when I came at Donovan, the only thing I wanted to hear him say was, okay, OG, watch what I do next. I just be like, he great, but he ain't that great. This man is really looking like a pure hater at this point, but he wasn't done there as the third call out of Donovan in less than a month from the big Aristotle happened on February 3rd, where he said about the Jazz and Mitchell, first of all, this is not about respect. I know what I'm doing when I'm trying to get my guys to play a certain way. The way they're playing right now, you're welcome. Because they want to shut me up. Please shut me up. And finally, on February 10th, Shaq said he'd take Russell Westbrook over Donovan Mitchell, which makes me seriously question his basketball knowledge. It's become evident that Shaq has a vendetta against this Jazz team because since the beginning of this season, he's been constantly calling out either Rudy Gobert or Donovan Mitchell for almost no reason. I get that he thinks he's challenging them, but it comes off as a selfish move when you take credit for the way they're playing. The fact of the matter is, the 24-year-old Donovan Mitchell set the NBA record for the most three-pointers in a single series last playoffs, and with only eight players in the lineup, the Jazz came up one jumper short of eliminating a Denver Nuggets squad who ended up making the conference finals. Now in 2021, the most underrated duo in basketball, the Spida and the Stifle Tower, have driven their fully healthy roster to a 24-6 record, the best record in the league by a good amount. Maybe Shaq's comments about Rudy Gobert not deserving his contract motivated the Frenchman. Rudy's been exceptional this year and deserves a video himself, but the best part about Donovan Mitchell is that the man doesn't give a damn what an old head or anyone for that matter thinks about him. He's heard and responded to doubters his entire career. Next, you'll find out the main reason that's allowed D. Mitch to take over games at will and a prediction of if he'll legitimately enter the MVP discussion. Right quick before that, go follow me on Instagram at dflowhoops where I'm now posting daily highlights as well as NBA breaking news and rumors. I'll also be posting predictions, polls, and player comparisons on there, so trust me, my IG is the place to be if you're a basketball fan, links in the description. Go back into the video, and here's what happens when Donovan Mitchell sees who's guarding him. You haven't even got a name tag. You've got no chance. Why don't you just fall down? Got some. At 6'3", with a 6'10 wingspan, plus 220 pounds of pure muscle, Mitchell's speedy long strides, in addition to his physical features, give him the ability to blow past his matchup, then finish through contact at the bucket. When operating on the perimeter, Mitchell's attempting a career-most 8.7 attempts from deep range and is making a career-best 38.9% of those three-pointers. Take a look at how Donovan perfectly times this hesitation move, leaving Paul George in the dust. A nasty momentum dribble to his offhand before seamlessly pulling up from distance and breaking a great perimeter defender's ankles in the process. Against another elite defender in Kawhi Leonard, the inside and out mastery of Donovan continued, as here he fools Leonard with a double crossover which gets the claw anticipating a step back jumper, 
allowing the Spider to get just enough space to blow past him and make a floater in traffic. But the most surprising evolution in Mitchell's game this year has been his passing. And with Quinn Snyder's offense featuring more off-ball cutting this year, Mitchell's improved passing lane vision has meshed perfectly with that. This play with Derek Favors setting a pin down for Bogdanovich displays Donovan's ability to see the cut, wait for the opening, and throw the dart to the cutter. If Mitchell has a signature dime though, it's the full court baseball pass. The man has elite arm strength, speed, and accuracy. He grew up playing baseball first and basketball second. That's evident when you watch him. The Spide is capable of completing seemingly impossible one-handed passes at lightning speed from all over the court. After receiving a behind-the-back pass from Bogey right here, this cross-court baseball pass from the corner is absolute artistry. The ability Donovan has to dish out fastballs with this type of distance, velocity, and accuracy may be the best in the NBA. He throws baseball pitches in transition or the half court with the right hand or the left, seeing a target across the full court and hitting them precisely on target with a 90 mile per hour strike. Donovan Mitchell has developed into a playmaking artist, and when he finds his flow, the man manufactures offense in mind-blowing ways. He can drive in the lane, rise up for a layup, then change his mind, casually decide to turn his body all the way around, and pass to the man he knew was in the corner the entire time. The fact that he could do all of that while in the air speaks to his athleticism, but also his ability to make split decisions. He's an evolving playmaker, and he's gotten better and better at reading NBA defenses as his career's progressed. In terms of his MVP chances, there are clearly players who are having a better statistical impact than Mitchell, but the fact remains that he's one of the most important players on the best team in the league so far this year. Maybe he deserves more respect than he's been getting, but the MVP award is geared a little more toward individual success, and while collective team success helps, it's not strictly based off that. Utah's ball movement and depth are two major factors in their success, and that's probably hurting Mitchell's MVP chances. But what speaks volume is that there are bigger things that the 24-year-old Mitchell cares about, which is rare for a young superstar. He doesn't have much of an ego, he brings tremendous energy game in, game out, and when you watch him, the man's visibly an outstanding leader for his guys. Winning heals everything, including getting constantly hated on by the Shaktis. If Utah wins it all and Donovan isn't the regular season MVP, it's really not going to matter because, of course, the most valuable piece of hardware is the Larry O'Brien trophy. Whether or not I'll officially predict that the Jazz will win it all is another conversation, which I'll make a separate video on, but I want to know your opinion on Donovan Mitchell in the comments. From the Shaq hate to your favorite part about his game, let me know all your takes down below. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.